I tried to make this video a while ago and I just couldn't uh, get it to come together, but I just watched one of Sean Underground Wellness's videos about how he was having difficulty a week ago, and it really inspired me to try again at this video. So I guess I'll title this video something like How to Succeed, and I know that sounds like an audacious title, but here's why I think I'm qualified to at least give some advice on it, because I've failed at more things than most people ever will. The thing that nobody seems to recognize is that when you push yourself beyond your current abilities, of course you initially fail. That's the only way to exceed what your current abilities are. And yet everybody's so afraid of failure that they never push themselves beyond what they can currently do. So the more you can fail, as long as you don't condition yourself to failure, the more you're ultimately going to succeed at something. I mean, look at me. I'm the worst speaker in the world. It didn't stop me from making this YouTube channel. The next thing I'd like to point out is that uh, you really have to think for yourself, in my opinion, if you want to succeed. There are a lot of people out there that will love to condition you to work for them and to expend your life energy helping their causes. The educational uh, institutions are a great example of this. If you want to ultimately succeed, I think you've got to learn to think for yourself. Uh, a really good thing that helps people, I believe, is learning to play games of strategy, especially chess when you're very young. It kind of uh, helps you develop this strategic kind of thinking and counteracts the educational system, which is only going to teach you how to assimilate information and how to allow yourself to be conditioned. One of my favorite sayings is that a wise person learns from their mistakes and a very wise person learns from the mistakes of others. Getting good mentoring is crucial, in my opinion, to efficiently succeed at anything. It amazes me that sometimes people will pursue an entire career and never get as much advice as possible ahead of time from people who have already been down that path to develop various strategies, to get contacts. There are a couple different sources of mentoring that I've always felt are best. One is older people. In our society, we completely ignore the elderly, and this is a big mistake, I think. The elderly have been through the whole cycle of life. They know more than someone in their 30s or 40s. Just because someone is in their 30s and at the top of their field doesn't mean that that person has the full range of advice on some of the possible pitfalls that you'll meet later in life, um, what really matters most in life. The elderly know all of this, and they have an enormous number of contacts and great information, and yet we totally ignore that. So that's a huge overlooked uh, form of mentoring, in my opinion. Uh, another thing people try to do is get the advice from the biggest, most successful person out there. Uh, these super successful people generally don't have time for you, but they do often write autobiographies. And if you can read as many autobiographies of successful people as possible, I think that's really helpful because you'll see parallels after a while and you'll see the kind of traits that, uh, and the kind of habits to develop that uh, lead to success. And lastly, while I'm talking about books, in my opinion, when a how-to or self-improvement book becomes classic, it's generally because that book has better advice than the latest book of the month. Classic books tend to have timeless advice. Another thing I think people overlook is analyzing the emotions behind decisions that you make. Uh, are you making a decision based on positive or negative emotion? Try to always follow positive emotions when you're pursuing a course. It, it really can help, I believe. And one last quick point, nobody likes negative comments, but really this is your only chance in life to ever improve. You're not going to improve when people just tell you nice things about yourself. So again, I'm not an expert on this topic, and as always, you're welcome to leave your own advice and constructive criticism in the comment section.